Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you about Moneyball and how you can use it in Football Manager 2024. In recent times, Moneyball has become a hell of a lot more popular in clubs looking to take the next step, to progress to the top of their division or to compete with massive clubs. Now, this has been used by clubs like Brighton and by Brentford. I will be showing you exactly how to use the Moneyball strategy in FM24. I'm gonna be using it by showing you spreadsheets, filters, a search views, squad views, and everything in between. So welcome to seven tips on how to use Moneyball in Football Manager 2024. Tip number one is very, very simple. You want to head to Google and search in FM24 Moneyball and you're going to see this community SI post about FM24 statistics and the spreadsheet you get with it. And a massive shout out to the legend of FM player that has taken his time to create these spreadsheets. They are absolutely fantastic and a massive shout out to yourselves. Now, I'm not going to read through all the sort of prologue of what he has gone through. We're going to be trying to explain it in this video on how to use these spreadsheets, etc. But the first thing you need to do to use Moneyball is to download these views. Now, you download the zip file from here. And once you have that zip file, you want to go ahead and put the different bits into documents, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 24, create a folder of views and create a folder of filters. Now, I didn't have these folders, so I had to go ahead and do that. And these are my documents right here. So we have our filters one. You'll see these three come through in the filters. I'm also going to be adding my own basic view, which I will show you guys, and that will be linked down below alongside this link uh, through a media file where you can get my sort of slightly more basic filter and my slightly more basic view as well, because the view has quite literally everything in it, and it boggles my mind to a different degree. So I've made a slightly more basic one that you guys might find a bit more useful, but we'll see. If you're an absolute genius, you'll absolutely smash this. And also within that download file, there is the spreadsheets as well. So you're going to get this FM24 FMSS statistics spreadsheet V2. You need to save that just in any random folder that you want to find. I've got mine in my sports interactive folder called Moneyball Spreadsheets. And to get yourself ahead of the game for a tip down the line, create another folder called players and that is you set up to be able to use the money ball approach and just very quickly in fm itself the way you get these views and filters in is by heading to your squad screen uh, the bit where it says players at the top import the view and your views will come up in there uh, and in scouting as well it is also just as simple as that head to scouting two players uh, hit here custom import view and your views will come up here and they're the ones that you've just downloaded so as long as you've put the correct files in place they will come up there make sure you tick transfer so they're at least a little bit interested make sure you click doubtful because they'll maybe a tiny bit interested rather than fully interested and the last thing you want to do is add on the filter as well and that is done from the settings cog down here manage the filters import the filter and it'll come up through this 450 minutes all the different leagues that you could potentially want a player to be signed from and then this is not normally in there so i'd implore you to add this one you want to and and then you want to click on uh, add a condition uh, you want to head down to that general general and uh, average rating and add in at least a seven average rating just so you get players of a certain caliber that sort of helped me quite a lot in my scouting and that is how you set up your moneyball save that's how you get the spreadsheets the filters the views and how to import them on fm and on to tip number two which is your recruitment focuses now i've got two different sets of recruitment focuses one for helping to find wonder kids at that sort of level and one of finding players of a certain age that you can go ahead and make money of and so that you're on top of pretty much everyone one that you could potentially go ahead and sign now first of all is our wonder kid scouting that you guys all know and love that i use on rebuilds in every single video age 15 to 21 one star current ability three star potential ability 15 to 21 in south america ongoing and find your scouts that have got a little bit of knowledge in south america if they don't go ahead and hire some and make them learn it, it is pivotal they have some world knowledge in that area and i also do the exact same for europe as well it's just mugged me off and move of course but it's the exact same for europe one star three star potential ability 15 to 21 ongoing europe transfer get your scouts out there so they can go and find you wonder kids and that might help you in terms of finding some players that are going to be uh, cheap and doing very well in the league but not the main one you want to go ahead and use moneyball the main one is this one right here age 19 to 27 two star credibility two star potential ability ongoing and tip number three i think sort of comes hand in hand with the recruitment focuses and in terms of 
of signing players you pretty much want to only sign players you don't want to loan anyone in because you want to be progressing players of your value and building up your finances now i'll show you this porto save we are in season number three at this point and we started off with pretty much no money and using this money ball approach of only signing players at a cheap value and signing players at a high value we have grown up to 139 million pounds in the bank and we started on negative 5 million which is why i stress only sign players do not loan them in because you are only going to be able to bring in value if they are your players and you can sell them when they reach the peak of their powers and in tandem with that tip is also to sell players when they're at the peak of their powers someone like Jao Mario who's got a 45 million pound value is a 25 year old right back who's probably not going to grow anymore is absolutely smashing it off the back of a 7.47 season is wanted by clubs like Liverpool, Bayern Munich and AC Milan be realistic, Jao Mario is not going to be sticking around. Take the best offer you can get for him, and I will show you the transfer window I managed to do at the end of this video from using the exact methods we used here. Once we go through the spreadsheet, the signs we could potentially be making, I'll show you who we end up selling, but I can tell you now, Jao Mario and Danny Namasso both end up leaving the club. Danny Namasso, a 24-year-old who has just bagged 25 goals and 13 assists and got a 7.47 average rating in the Portuguese league, isn't going to be staying around. He is wanted by by Al Nassar and if we get an offer upwards of 50 million pounds that is the most we're going to get for a player in the Portuguese league so you have to go ahead and sell him and use the money ball approach to replace him with someone at around the five to ten million pound figure that is going to change the game and is going to come in and replace him and you've made 50 million pounds so buy low sell high is the absolute key but what if you didn't want to sell Jao Mario, Sanusi, Nico, Danny Namasso, and you wanted to keep them players and try and, you know, step to the next level? You know, in this Porto save, we are looking to try and make the Champions League uh, our trophy. So what if we were looking to keep them players and try and move on to the next level? Well, you can only do that once you've got a big old transfer kitty, and that is now us at £100 million. And our squad is looking very strong. But tip number four, I believe we're on now, is to replace the weakest areas. So this is where I would use the ability thing alongside the average ratings. So someone like Fabio Cardozo, being now 31 years of age, he has dropped down to a two and a half star player and alongside Francisco Cohen Shao are clearly the weakest members of the squad. Cardozo, a 6.97 average rating. Francisco Coensal, a 6.89. You take both of them out and pretty much every single player is above a seven. Apart from uh, David Carmo, who is a 25-year-old centre-back with a value of 45 million. Someone that I'd be looking to sell if I got an offer of 50 million for. And Diego Costa, goalkeeper, a 6.96. That is a fantastic average rating for a goalkeeper. So we'd ignore that one. But you take them two out and we're all above three star and you have to improve the weakest areas first it is not about going out and signing the superstar striker you want to sign Evan Nilsson's just bagged 24 goals and got a 7.02 average rating and has got a value of only 12 and a half to 14 million pounds so no one's picking him up we're going to be keeping him in the club he's extremely consistent he loves big matches and is our superstar striker there is no need to go out and replace him regardless of the gap in the market if there's someone there which is you know firing all the goals they're going to come in and they're probably going to either decrease in value or they're going to decrease Evan Nilsson's value which is not helpful so you want to go ahead and make sure you're improving the weakest areas of your team first that is tip number four now tip five comes into how to use this beautiful spreadsheet that i have been waffling about well let me teach you from the very basics of how to get the spreadsheet so you head to your scouting and head to players you've got everything all laid out and your filters are all correct there is just one thing that i'm going to add on because we are managing in portugal and we're looking to make profit on players i don't want to sign anyone of above a value of 30 million pounds i've got that average rating being a minimum of seven and there is 897 players here now for me on my pc i can extract all these players if your pc is not the greatest pc don't worry you can still use the spreadsheet but just do it position by position so if you're looking to sign a striker you should be able to extract 111 players if you're looking to sign a central defensive midfielder you should be able to extract 93 players it just breaks it down so i mean i'm just going to run every single player and get them on but for some people the pc cannot quite handle that which is absolutely fine just do it by the positions that you need so as we've identified our weak area center back and right back you could quite simply just pick center back and uh, right winger sorry not right back uh, and that's going to be 303 players and you could just go ahead and export them so just to show you guys that in case your pc can't quite handle it just do individual players your game might freeze now first of all you want to go ahead and select every single player this can take quite some time so let me zoom through 
And we are finally at the bottom. Now be careful because if you uh, unclick correctly or you accidentally click on a player, you will unselect everyone and we do not want to be going ahead and doing that. So every single player has been selected. Head down to your toolbar in the bottom right, drag it up to the top and you are now at the top of the list. Important, you now press Control and P. That prints the screen and you want to head to web page and click OK. And you'll be saving that in the players folder that we created just earlier. So for me, that is in my sports interactive and players. You can see I made it. So it's very, very easy for me to go ahead and save it. So head to where it is in your documents, head to sports interactive players, like I showed you where to put it and open up YouTube video. This brings up this beautiful screen right here. And as you get this screen, you now want to click Control and A, and that will select every single player. I should, of course, mention you need to have the Excel spreadsheet that you downloaded with all the filters available as well and open so you can do this. So head back to here with your Control and A, and a Control and C, and that will copy everything. You now want to put them in this A2 column, Control and V, and that will bring through all the stats into your Excel spreadsheet. The next thing is absolutely pivotal. We want to head to column A and K, which is distance per 90, and click Control and H, and uh, find KM and replace them all. I believe this just changes it, so it changes from the KM to being the distance. Now, I think that's just a bug in the game. It won't sort it correctly by the distance they have traveled per 90 if you don't go ahead and do that. So that's absolutely key. You do that, and you have now got all these stats into Excel, and you can now see the raw data table for every single player. You can see the percentiles table, the statistics profiles, the player profiles, and the possession stats. Now, the statistics profile and player profile uh, will not work correctly if you did not have all the players correctly scouted. Um, so that is something that I have not even used. And uh, I have absolutely smashed this Porto rebuild not using them. I have simply used the percentiles table because my brain is uh, quite a, a numbers-based brain and uh, I can work out numbers quite quickly so I can see the colors and the numbers work very, very well for me. And this is how you use the spreadsheet. So obviously on this spreadsheet is only players with a minimum of seven average rating, which is very good, but we have got every single position available. So you need to go ahead to this positions column and click the little drop down arrow. And we are looking for a brand new center back. So we're gonna go through and now select all the positions that have center back available in them whether it's a left center back or you know they can potentially play left wing i would rather have them in the search to be able to see them than then not be there so just get them all in there and that should be all these center backs click ok and you now have around 20 to 30 players that are potentially going to be available for your club now head to average rating click the little drop down arrow and sort by largest to smallest and look at that absolutely beautiful Robert Renyan comes out as the best player under 10 million pounds at 21 years of age from Zenit St. Petersburg and that's straight away identified you an absolute banger of a sign in and if you want to go more in depth on the stats now again I haven't really done this too much in this Porto rebuild I've only done it quite simple but if you're a center back that you're looking to have progressive passes for example you could head to passes completed now his passes completed is actually only in the 40th percentile which means he's in the bottom 40 percent of center backs that we have scouted Pass completion is 73%. Looking at the player below, you're looking for a ball playing centre back. This guy is in the 97th percentile pass completed per 90 and 93rd percentile in pass completion. So Doria from Fluminese maybe is the better shout for you. If you're looking for an absolute stalwart at centre back, someone that's going to block everything, win every single tackle. I mean, Doria looks fantastic. Key tackles per 90, 99th percentile clearances, 99th percentile shots blocked, 99th percentile. He looks fantastic. We'll go for some someone else like uh i mean this guy right here whoever this will be number 19 98 percentile in key tackles 98 percent part uh, tackles completion rate 99 percentile in shots blocked and defended 98 percentile in possession one 98 percentile in headers one and 99th in key headers one this guy is an absolute demon. Number 19 is uh, Toremia. Uh, he is from Krasnodar, a value of 8 to 12 and a half million, a 7.26 average rating. So my next step is to head back to Football Manager, where I will search up in the scout bar Tormina. 
and Tormina will come up as a centre back from Krasnodar. Now we have got slightly basic scouting him. He is 29 years of age, which is at the older side of what you want to go ahead and sign. But if he is exactly what you are looking for, I would recommend it. So hit scout, go ahead and see what he's about and add him to a shortlist. You can see of the shortlist that I've gone ahead and created of Cam, CDM, striker and winger. We'd create a brand new shortlist called centre back and add him in there for three months. I'll add him to the default to save myself a bit of knowledge. I will then go forward a week and see what he can do, but he's not the only one I would go ahead and select. I would get three, four, five options of players you are looking for. So we'll add in Robert Renan for a ball playing centre back, 21 years of age, value of eight and a half to 10 million pounds. We'll hit scout on him and add him to that shortlist. The exact same for Doria. Now Doria is at the end of his career at 30 years of age. So might not be the exact sort of player that we are looking for, but for argument's sake, we'll add him to the shortlist anyway. Looking for another progressive centre back number 65 in terms of passes completed is in the 98th percentile and 98th in pass completion. And that is Atelia Sazali from Hoffenheim. He has got a value of 24 to 30 million pounds. So for me, a club like Porto, as much as this guy looks fantastic, is right at the very top of our range. And it's probably going to be a little bit too expensive. So I have to make the call unless I sell someone for around 70 million pounds in that position. So say David Carmen went ahead and left, I would still be able to sign him and have a 40 million pound differential. But for now, we're not going to go ahead and scout him. And maybe so we don't go ahead and get that. What I would do is I would try and unselect the higher value players so 18 to 28 is probably too high 18 to 23 is fine 18 and a half to 30 is probably a little bit too high uh, and then we've also got the 24 to 30 23 to 29 23 to 28 22 29 21 to 24 20 to 25 so again maybe in the pre-filter bit add in your value probably i should have got a little bit lower than that but that will take out them players and then age wise as well if you want to take out a few players we'll put 21 23 24 and 25 as the max ages you want to sign and this gives us an even shorter range of going to find players which isn't a bad thing we just now run down this list now someone like sebastian baselli here has only got a 7.0 average rating but it's 21 years of age playing over at river plate and if we look through his stats uh, he is a decent ball playing defender he has got pretty good stats in interceptions blocks um, key headers key headers one he actually looks like an absolutely fantastic center back and a value of just 6.6 .6 to 10 million pounds so he's another one i would add to the list on football manager so sebastian baselli will go ahead and scout and add him to that shortlist and what i would do from now on is i would just sim forward two weeks i would say i would pretty much go at this probably two positions at a time so center back and right wing now i've just showed you exactly how to go ahead and do it for center back so i won't do it for right wing as well but that is exactly how i'd go ahead and find the players and we'll now go ahead for forward two weeks we're now on our default shortlist that we added all these players to we can see they are all fully scouted now this scout recommendation i wouldn't listen to too much you want to be able to use these stats and that is what you are looking for i mean in terms of stats of how he has gone ahead and actually performed so someone like Sebastian Bastelli, his stats uh, in terms of actual ability stats are absolutely fantastic. He suits every single bill. He is a leading Liga Portugal player. He is only 21 years of age. There is a lot of sort of sell on value on him. The value of around 15 million pounds, you'll end up selling a 21 year old Uruguayan international centre back could have a value of 40 to 50 million pounds. So a fantastic signing in Sebastian Bastelli. Someone like Tormena from Krasnodar. Now his stats are very good. Probably a little bit more of a seasoned professional. Uh, 7.26 last season was fantastic and again you couldn't really argue with this signing other than the fact that his age is 29 years so you're probably not going to get much selling out of him and he probably goes a little bit against or he's at the very end of the cycle of being able to use him in money ball obviously center backs can go slightly older into their 33 34 i mean Pepe retired in this save at 42 years of age. But obviously, value wise of Moneyball, you are probably looking to bring in some players and sell them on. But if you wanted this guy to be your superstar centre back, you could make an argument for that. Doria at 30 years of age, I would say isn't good enough. And I'd probably leave him at Fluminese. His stats are all very decent, but. At 30 years of age, nowhere near as good as Tormania. And Robert Renyan is the other signing that I would certainly be looking at. He's just had a 7.86 and a fantastic season over in uh, Russia as then in St. Petersburg. Value of just sort of £9 million. His stats are very, very good. And what I would go ahead and do now is actually compare him and Baselli because they're the two players that I was looking for. Now, you can see clearly from this graph that Robert Renyan is possibly the better defender. But aerially and in terms of speed, Sebastian Baselli is the better 
better defender in them areas. So it's what you want in your centre back. Do you want a centre back that's going to be quick and be able to have better ball playing ability, or is your centre back going to be Robert, Robert Renan, an absolute sort of demon at the back, six foot one, and an absolute giant who's going to stop every single thing coming into the box now i would compare this next to my other center back we've got david carmo who is not the quickest center back and is six foot five so for my team someone like sebastian baselli suits better a better cover center back probably better ball playing ability and is certainly going to help us out more so i would go ahead and sign sebastian baselli with everything we've analyzed and sort of the scout and everything that we can see Baselli looks like the best center back of all the options in that scout range so go ahead and we'll sign Sebastian Baselli and also show you what else we've done in this window so you can sort of get the gist of how we sold players and who brought in to replace them. So I showed you that Danny Namasso was a wanted man and we ended up selling him for £56 million which in terms of the money ball approach, he was brought on a free contract from Reading and we had 56 million pounds of value while absolutely smashing it. So for me, a fantastic sale and one that I'm very proud of in this sort of manner. And as Jao Mario is the other signing, we ended up selling a right back, 25 year old Portuguese, now he's in the Premier League, his value is 200 million. While playing in the League of Portugal, his value was never going to go above 48 million pounds. And we actually got to add that up to 58 million pounds with installments as well. Uh, Gonzalo Borges was a winger that was never going to get any game time with us. He was actually doing quite well out on loan, but he was doing, you know, he was doing okay, but we have players that are going to be better than him. And we weren't too fussed about him. So we took 20 million quid for him. Again, now he's in Saudi and on 550,000 pounds a week, his value has shot up. But I was happy to get that sale done. And it's another thing I would certainly recommend is not to sit on players for too long. If a player is past a sell by date or you know he's not going to get used, take the value while you can. Exactly like that sale in Gonzalo Baldes. Now, obviously, Danny Namasso was the man we moved on for 56 million pounds. And Luca Lagoni is the player I brought in for just 15.5 million pounds. Now, him over at Boca, a 7.56 average rating, 11 goals and 5 assists. I use the spreadsheets the best of my ability and this is the player we ended up finding. Fantastic dribbling, crossing, finishing, composed determination and pace. And if we actually compare him to Danny Namasso, I think we've got a very good deal there. This guy's quicker, he's better mentally, he's just got a, room, a little bit of room to grow physically, attacking, technical, aerial. But for 15 million pound compared to the 60 million quid i think we've done very well in terms of replacing him uh, and at right back to go ahead and replace um joao mario we brought in a real belenova now this guy 23.5 million pounds with the very max of what i wanted to go ahead and spend but him over in italy had been absolutely smashing it for torino now for back-to-back -back seasons and absolutely killing it in terms of crossing which is one of the best things for our wing backs because we are very quick going ahead at wing back so a wing back that can go ahead and cross the ball and be dangerous is exactly what i needed so it was worth spending the extra five million pounds for we might not get too much resale on him. We probably will sell him for a round we brought him for, 23 million pounds. But there's a chance he breaks into a Jao Mario and we'll double that up to 50 million quid. So they were the sort of ins and outs of what we went ahead and done this season as well as bringing in Sebastian Baselli. But for a full breakdown on sort of this whole Porto rebuild, come back on Friday for the Porto rebuild. It's going to be an absolute banger. Uh, and I'll go through more Moneyball things there. But this is the tips video and that is the transfer window. And that is how to use the most important thing of the whole Moneyball, the Moneyball spreadsheet. Now to end the video is just two very simple things that I want to go through. And that is number one, to pick players based on their average rating and how they've been performing in matches. So someone like Sebastian Vasselli, brand new signing, you might want to use him because he's, you know, your protege and he's who you want to go ahead and use. But someone like Utkus, who we also signed in this summer, is sitting on a 6.94 similar rating. Use him while he's in hot form and sort of transition Vasselli back into the team and get him back to good form just use players that are playing well that is the whole point that is why you're signing them because they're doing well in game and someone like nico or someone like alan varela actually on a 6.56 francesca is on a 7.52 he might not be as good of a player in terms of ability but he's playing better right now. So make sure you are using him. Evan Nielsen last season was fantastic. He got, he's on a 7.18, but a signing we made a few seasons ago in Tiago is currently sitting on a 7.70. We have to start him because he is on a hot streak of form. And I can't tell you how much I have not looked at this in the past on Plan FM. I just picked my favorite players. Since doing this video, I have realized how far form can take you. What we've been doing with Porto is simply ridiculous in the Champions League. We've nearly got invincible a couple of times already and we are just in the third season. So 
we are absolutely smashing it and I'm uh, absolutely buzzing for the video to come out. And my last piece of advice is to do with youth. Now, we have got some fantastic young players coming through the academy like Rodrigo Mora. Right now, ability-wise, he's not quite there and five-star sort of potential. So someone to certainly keep an eye out on. Uh, and players like uh, Rios Ferriania, uh, Diego Costa, James Sani, David Ferreira, Stanley Aliou, who could all potentially be first team players but what i have found to be the best method of actually seeing if they're good enough for the team is to loan them out and see what they're actually like in professional men's football because they can get fantastic ratings in these sorts of games. I mean, this guy's got a 7.5 as a central midfielder playing against other under 19 teams, but how is he actually compared to other men's football players? Loan them out and see what they actually go ahead and do. That is how I have been using my players and that is how I've progressed sort of three, four, five players in just a couple of seasons into the first team, not by just bringing them up blindly and seeing if they're good enough, loaning them out, letting another team go ahead and see that, get them that vital game experience, and then they can come back to you. You'll probably find them on your scout search. I've had that a couple of times where I've been looking for a star sort of cam, and a guy that comes up time and time again and I ended up putting him into the first team was Vasco Suazo. We went about a couple of times from this point onwards, and he was absolutely smashing it on like a 7.7 .7 average rating, but only two star ability, Guess what? I brought him into the first team and he absolutely smashed it. Back-to-back -back seasons above a 7.6 and is now like one of the best players in the league. So use the loan market for your young players that are not quite good enough for your first team and see if they can go out there and play good enough. And that is my seven tips on Moneyball because for me, it is one of the most fun ways to play football manager and really is just an absolute sort of game breaker and can be the most enjoyable experience you will ever have on FM. And if you want to see a rebuild using Moneyball, like I said, this Porto rebuild will be out on Friday and it's going to be an absolute banger. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you've not watched any rebuilds previously on this channel, there is a couple linked just down there or down there. Go ahead and watch them and I'll speak to you next time.